When the Moroccans tasted bitter Germans in World War II. The Moroccan is a fighter by nature, so the first battle that the Germans lost in France was the battles for the liberation of the island of Corsica, and it was carried out by the Moroccans. And before that, the Moroccans fought in Sicilia and Italy between July and August 1943, and they contributed to its liberation, so they outperformed the Germans in the battle to liberate the mountainous city of Okoto, and they captured 450 German soldiers. And one of the most important achievements of the Moroccan forces was in Monte Cassino, Italy, where about 10,000 Moroccan fighters liberated the Oronkai Mountains and barricaded themselves south of the German positions. Within three weeks, they broke through the German defensive barrier that extended over an area of 150 kilometers, which is something that the Americans failed to do. And the British, Canadians and Indians in several months, the Moroccans were able to penetrate the Gustav line by circumventing Casino and taking control of the neighboring peaks. Moroccan soldiers had to climb the muddy and snow-covered slopes, which the Germans considered insurmountable, before controlling the peaks exposed to German artillery shells, which prompted the commander of the German armies, Albert Kesserling, to admit that the French, especially the Moroccans, fought fiercely and exploited every success through concentration of strength within the points that were experiencing weakness. He wrote in his daily report on May 29 that it was remarkable to witness the great ability of the Moroccan battalions to pass all the fields, which were known for their ability to cross the rugged paths loaded with their heavy weapons on the backs of mules, and historians and most analysts consider that the maneuvers of the Moroccan soldiers formed the victory that precipitated the opening of the road to Rome in front of the Allies. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe.